Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Civil Electronics. Friends, in our discontinuous flyback SMPS design using UC3843, last time we calculated inductance and before that we calculated DC rail and the capacitance value. It is value uh, video number 265. It was primary inductance and today we will calculate peak primary current I peak so to calculate I peak this is the highest amount of the current in the primary winding I peak VDC low and T on divided by L primary VDC low we can calculate it the lowest value when we have the extreme low value 85 volt that time we considered 100 volt and we are calculating our design at 100 volt instead of 110 volt skipping the ripples in the output of the bridge rectifier so now VDC low that is in step number 4 value step number 4 100 volt it is 100 volt and time on time on we calculated it in step number 7 that is point double zero triple zero two four second 2.4 microsecond but we have to select it in second double zero triple zero two four second and primary inductance the value of in inductance 4.414.72 micro hundred it is point triple zero four one four seven two Henry the amount of current hundred hundred volt multiplied by one two three why because here is volt and we cannot select microsecond and we cannot select microsecond so here we have volts double zero triple zero two four divided by point one two three four one four seven two it is zero point five seven eight seven ampere and now we can select RMS current I RMS is equal to I peak under root 3 multiplied by time on oblique T so we can calculate it very easily 0 0.5787 0 0.5787 3 multiplied by time on here the time on is in same condition we can select microsecond because we are solving it separately so 2.4 divided by 5 microsecond 0.5787 divided by under root 3 divided by 5 bracket closed it is point two three one four eight ampere I RMS so if we calculate it I put in microsecond microsecond time but I can make it point one two three four five two four I will put time in seconds point one two three four five it is the same point two three one eight point two three one eight so we can put it two point four microsecond or second it will because it is calculated separately in this session we discussed I peak 
the maximum amount of current that can that can flow in the primary winding VDC low why we select VDC low because this calculation is in worst case scenario what is the worst case we need maximum output at the lowest input voltage maximum output maximum power out we need 10 watt 10 watt at lowest DC level so if we select another value that value we can take suppose if we select here 330 volt it will give power in the output but when the voltage will drop then the SMPS controller have no limit to adjust the voltage so here maximum duty cycle will used at this point maximum duty cycle will used and when the voltage will increase SMPS controller automatically will decrease the time on period so it will keep decreasing until the maximum voltage are here so minimum time on period will here so it is the duty of microcontrollers so I hope so this video is good for you like if you want if you have any question let me know in the comment box in my last video there was a question from one of my viewer he asked me why I am using 2.5 2.5 is constant for formula to calculate continuous and discontinuous flybacks we have to maintain this 2.5 and then there was another question from one of one of my friends that why we are selecting 0.48 percent duty cycle because it is discontinuous smart so the maximum duty cycle will reach at 0.48 in switching time and multiplied by 2 it will increase at 0.96 96% why because we are we also use the stored magnetic energy stored flux in the coil while it is in off, off period so in the off time it will also be used so we have to give a dead time normally it is maximum it is calculated about 0.4 percent 40 percent 40 plus 40 80 percent but I am calculating it at 96 percent 96 divided by 2 so our transistor or MOSFET our switching device will work at 40% percent, 48% of the total time because when we select core at that time we have to verify this time on period why because that time diode recovery time switching on time all the events will be calculated in this period so maybe when we will select a core depending on the core depending on the BMAX maybe we have to adjust this for 48 percent again thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh